Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we uh, continued as Saga going through the woods uh, in Watery. Oh, sorry, the screen just kind of got me. Um, to make our way through to the uh, to Coffee World. Coffee Land? Coffee World? Coffee World. Um, and basically find the key to our old cabin when we used to live there. Um, that we don't seem to remember. And it is a broken down place. It is in shambles. I don't know how these guys are making money. And uh, there are also some people in the woods that try to want to try and kill us. Never a good thing. Okay, so... It's actually been a few days since I've played this. I'm going to have to regain my bearings here, so bear with me, please. So I remember we need a screwdriver or something to get that open. And I was thinking maybe a fuse box for that area. To the percolator. And if I remember, there was actually... That's funny. Have I been here? Yes, I have. But have I looked at this shed? Can I even look at this shed? Am I allowed to? I'm not. Nothing. Bowling road. Three dollars for three tries. Break a row to win. Nothing. Can I actually break these? God, I'm just wasting bullets. I know. Latte Lagoon. This place is actually a little bigger than I expected it to be. Right, and I forgot we kind of limited inventory. God, how long has this food been sitting out here? So what is it? Popcorn, $4. Snack bars, 50 cents. Muffin, $1. What kind of sense does that make? How is popcorn $4, but a cookie is 50 cents? Pizza slices four dollars. In what universe is popcorn and pizza slice the same price? I mean, I know. Like, I work in a movie theater. I know. Like, popcorn prices are insane, but it's definitely cheaper than a fucking pizza slice. Jesus. <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. <laughs> I love that they actually had to do. Thank God. Cassette tape. Okay. Whatever what that's gonna do. I'm so glad that they recorded the line. Get a hold of yourself, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Coffee world. Latte Lagoon. So I'm going to guess something's going to happen. And then this flood is going to wash back. And we're going to be able to go through all that. That is my guesstimation. On what will potentially happen. Oh. Ooh, more arrows. Yes, please. 
and more here. Actually, do I get anything for... Oh, fuck, I don't get them back. That's bullshit. So how do we get there? What was it there? I just didn't see it. see it. And of course, once I get close, it, it shuts off. Yeah, I've been here. Okay. Isn't that always the way? You hear noise and shit in the background. The second you get close, it all turns off. Fast, who's too fast? There you are. Oh, he's wearing a mask. Or no, he's wearing makeup. Ow. Whoa. Yeah, so where are you? Oh, he's up there. If I'm not mistaken, we needed a fuse for something, too. Can't remember what, though. I'm sure we'll find it among... Alright, asshole. Assholes. really not nice to throw things at people. I got her. Oh, she didn't have any. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can heal a little bit. No, there's no natural healing. Okay. Um, 
take painkillers, I guess. Is this heal that heals all the way? Okay. If I remember correctly, there was, or if I heard correctly, there was one more over here. I think I've checked down here. Maybe I have. I do kind of remember seeing this. Oh, right, this was the exit. Yeah, this is the what I was looking for earlier. I think this is where we need to head out uh, to head out afterwards. Okay, so we'll head back this way, back to the gift shop. Fresh pot gift shop. Sorry, I'm just hearing a lot of noises. Alright. Now, where is that safe? page of the manuscript. Uh, I don't know how safe I am in here. Hey, Elmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pukos. Whose grand idea was it to sell plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? Oh right, it was yours. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report. And then bam. They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe you just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. Well, maybe fucking moose shouldn't be drinking coffee. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Any more in stock, which means this has happened before. Thanks in advance, Elmo. Well, there's the safe, but I need a combination. There's the I knife. The toy knife will do. Will do what? What? Is this like an actual item? Ugh. I want to be able to read it, but it's like the light is too bright. Okay, news of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesdays. Bring your dog to Coffee World Day. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground co coffee. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry. We will fix it as soon as possible. Seem to be working fine to me. Our team. Susan is lost and found. Stuart is maintenance. Thomas is the ride operator. Uh, Jonas. Junas is security. Nina is the gift shop. Victor is janitor. Uh, Lucy is a caregiver, Robin's park walk around, and Anna is the concession stand. Fantastic looking team. Would you not say? Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the damn password to the safe again? 
I thought it was Lookout Fixer Supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid, Yako? Calm down, this one's easy. Tracker Lookout Cleaner. See, not rocket science. Tracker Lookout Cleaner. Is that something out here? No. Coffee World staff. Hope oh. they're not all monsters now. Oh, now we can read this shit. The photos have stickers on them. Oh, so what was it? Uh, tracker something something? Oh my god, fine. I'll go to my special place. Let me close the door first at least. So we have a lunch box. So that'll be the watery area. The author of these pages wanted privacy. That ship has sailed, I'm afraid. Bolt stashes. Uh, found near the Ferris wheel world Ferris wheel and coffee world. So that's here. More warnings inside. People must break into these fairly frequently. Oops. the story the clicker he wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true the art was there the clicker would push it across the final threshold um here no oh the clicker scratch just needs a clicker to make his ending into reality can't let that happen no we cannot trail of the cult Coffee World. Coffee World. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. So the trailer park key. Wow, we got a lot of clues. Coffee World is certainly interesting. And empty. It almost said someone would help, would help me get the key, but nobody's here. I mean, we did find some people. Oh, it, people the gift shop safe is locked don't think a screwdriver will work on this one stickers indicate how many years employees have worked guessing safe combo yeah stickers are next to the photos on the staff board a board listing member uh, staff members and their jobs no two employees share the same responsibilities. A hint Elmo left for the safe key code. Makes sense. The note mentions three jobs. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Gift shop door is locked. Uh, they'll be there, I guess. Elmo said someone would help me, but there's no one here. It looks like I'll need to find my own way inside. Note by using a screwdriver to open the lock. Uh, lock open. Worth a try, I guess. And maintenance log. List screwdriver as last used on the percolator. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Even a screwdriver can be a key if you try hard enough. So, it was tracker, lookout, cleaner. Let me read this one as well. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. 
She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. That's not good. Profiling this Coskellas. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Safe. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Deduction available. And we'll use information in the gift shop to create the safe combination. I bet Ilmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudokus. Got the key, but Coffee World staff are all taken. What the fuck? I mean, I didn't get the key. Not yet. Emo likes to get creative. Safe combo based off clues in a gift shop. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. So tracker could be lost and found. Lookout could be security and cleaner's janitor. That'd be my guess. So one, four, six. I mean, lookout could technically also be the park walk around. Well, let's try it. One, four, six. Hey, look at that. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. So I'm guessing we have to head through the exit. Uh, let me just do a quick save. I'll probably put some of the flares away in the shoebox. Do it. I think it was this way. Yeah, right through there. See you, Latte. Kids 15, adults 25, senior citizens 10. Ask about our coffee world club benefits. So what is this area here? House. 
So, whoops. So going that way is a trailer park. And lighthouse is back this way. Uh, let's try the lighthouse. And I want to know where this lunchbox is. if it's going to let me go. Huh. That area was all closed off earlier. See Vati still singing. Bye. Yes. Okay, so let's go up here to the lighthouse first. I'm also really glad there's like an infinite run. And like in the first game would when, when Alan would be like after like four steps, he'd be like, and Oh my god. Another lunchbox. But then, almost at the same time, but not quite, another hand grabbed my other wrist. It was my childhood friend's estranged twin brother, a rugged ex soldier who'd helped me fight back against the zombie horde with his chiseled jaw and smoldering eyes and worn leather jacket. My heart fluttered like a small bird against its cage. Ignore him, babe. You know I'm who you want. The sensitive friend I had cared for all my life, or the intense warrior I'd known for one harrowing day. How was I ever going to choose? The zombies were easier than this. I don't know who I would choose either, man. It's tough. Tough call. I'm just going to go real quick and put the thing up there. All right, I have the... Why, why are you tell me I have... Okay, I have a clue, but that's it. Uh, watery area. More fan fiction. And boy, what a cliffhanger. Who's he gonna choose? Who's he gonna choose? Or who's she gonna choose? So what do we got on this one? Hold the fire button to draw the crossbow for increased damage and a straighter arc. Fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. Ooh, that's good. Bolts lodged in enemies will attract bullets fired near them. Bolts lodged in enemies will attract bullets fired near them. So, like, I, I get bullets? Magnetic pull, that's what it says. What do I have in the pistols here? Use the magazine size by five. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. 
Uh, I don't think I need that. Increases reload speed, deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. I mean, I do like fluid motion and ready for more. I'll probably do this one first. In one fluid motion, Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible. Yeah. Reload speed is definitely a big, uh, a good thing to have. All right. We gotta be this lighthouse. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's still daytime, bro. What are you doing out? Oh, God. There's two of them. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, Rick. You know, it'd be nice to be able to hit. Don't forget to use safe havens to hide from enemies and receive healing. Um, yeah, actually not a bad idea. Damn. Oh well, that's okay. I, I probably could have done better in the combat anyway. All right, folks, round two. Oh God, there's, there's three of them. Sound. Is that them running? Yeah, it is. Very nice, very nice. I was like, what is that? Another locked box. Yeah, these symbols definitely mean something. I guess it's just what I see. Okay, so diamond, three lines. There's 
start from there. Oh. And... Circle? But in what order? Yeah. I'm going to guess this is one. So the two triangles and each other next to each other and next to each other. Like that. Like that. And that. No. Sorry, like that. No? Okay, one of these I have wrong. So those two... See, these two look the same. Oh, there's another one here. Okay, so I gotta find, so the one, those are facing up, um, this one was like this. Then just by a process of elimination. Getting the Anderson brothers on board would be a big win for us. So I'm offering a $100 Superstore gift card plus a year's worth of free coffee at the Oh Dear Diner to whoever gets those two to join. Let's get recruiting. Man, the Oh Dear Diner is like, you would think it was just like a quaint little uh, uh, like uh, coffee house, but no, apparently it's a fucking franchise. There's this little shed over here. Oh, I see. That's where we were. Yep. Okay, so that's that area up there. Let's just save real quick. Then we'll head up to the lighthouse. I haven't mentioned it before, but I'm actually really surprised like how much of the Taken are showing up in the daytime. Because in, in the first game, it was exclusively in the evenings. Because like, even this kind of light, they can't stand it. Right? So what do we got here? An old watcher of the sea before his demise cursed the waters that ruined his eyes. So he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fight and havoc to wreak. Wreck. Wreak? I guess wreak, yeah. Um, like wreak havoc, right? And in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. Jeez. Well, I need to find the doll for this. More of those rhymes. I'm a guess it's in the lighthouse. I'm a guess that's it. Or these is it. Got the mother doll. Got the wise elder. And we got the trickster. Okay. 
Okay, so what was it again? A watcher of the sea before his demise. Crystal water is a ruin his eyes. Wise Elder goes there. And this one would be Trickster. Okay. What changed? Oh, that guy changed. Hiya, fella. Uh, no, I didn't. place down there. And I wish I could like show you where, where the thing got dropped off, the box. I'm guessing this is the way back to the um, trailer park. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we'll explore this area after the lighthouse. Let's let's just go in there. Oh fuck. Oh, jeez. Alright, fucker. Alright. Fucking whine at me, asshole. You're the one that came at me. Yeah, no idea where this box is. I don't have the key. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. Um... Go down this way. Would it be up here? I don't think it'll be up there. What the fuck?
Where the fuck are all these people coming from? All of them. Okay, if you say so. I didn't think they were gonna, just going to keep spawning people. Sorry, I'm just listening. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla Nursing Home and thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Oh, dear. You know, when I'm feeling stiff, I find a light snack helps. So, did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because today was the fish soup with crackers. You're allowed up to four crackers, but I only take one unless I have a glass of cranberry juice. They ran out of cranberry juice at breakfast, which is at seven. I didn't take the oatmeal today because it makes me gassy before cribbage, and I can't... So you didn't try the jerky. Got it. Well, that's too bad, Donna. Their new teriyaki flavor sure does hit the spot. They had teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday's dinner menu. Oh, teriyaki salmon with rice salmon sounds really good. Pear, and then you're late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? I heard teriyaki is a shit flavor. Who? Is that Tapio? How are you on the line? I couldn't end the call. You've been on the phone this entire time? <laughs> yes. And I hate teriyaki. Well, it's delicious on jerky. So... Let's give a big thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. Wendy? No, that can't be right. Wendy went missing in 2010. I heard she's dead. No, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis, that's the dead one. She's dead. Right. Well, that's our time. Remember to keep your coffee warm and your chin up because... That sun shines right around the corner. <laughs> Pat Maine signing off. Dead, huh? Since 2010, huh? Hmm. My first watery visit. I'm staying near the Lighthouse Trailer Park at a nice little spot just off the road. It's very quiet here during the day. At night, not so much. Never been too nervous and can sleep through an earthquake. But here... I don't know, something just feels off. The animals act weird. They're restless at night, making weird noises and running away. And I could swear I hear someone moving around, circling. I'm going to give it one more night and then move on. Well, I guess he's moved on without his tent. Or her tent. Their tent. It's tent. Tent. Where are the... Oh, these are the trailer parks. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick... The page said I'd run into a cultist here. Yeah. Under Joe Saga. Yeah. Before I do that... Before I do that... Uh, I'm going to just circle back real quick and see if I can find that box before completing the rhyme. Okay, so uh, I actually went around and looked around. I still can find it, and another group of enemies spawned. Um, so I just uh, decided to hide in here. 
Um, I don't know where it is. It might actually be in the lighthouse itself. But uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. It's gone on a little bit long anyway. Um, yeah, next episode we'll, we'll hit the trailer park and see what the fuck's going on. And finally be attacked by a guy in a deer mask. Just like earlier. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.